could honestly sit here and say that Don't Football Club should have been in the next round. Um, there's no question that their third goal was a was a blatant handball. Total intentions to put it in the back of the net. And the most bizarre thing, um, uh, Gilanza scored a, a very similar goal. I'm trying to uh, recollect exactly where it was with his hand, and got booked, and uh, and the goal obviously cancelled out. And in the case against Red, and their guy blatantly handled it. It was very clear on the screen straight after for the replay. Which got them the goal in the 87th or 88th minute of the football game, which meant we then had to endure another 30 minutes with 10 men and uh, and try and win the football game. And we still could have won it, even in, in, in extra time. So if I'm going to look back and say it's probably one of the, the performances uh, of the season from the players and the way that they had to go about the job, being down to 10 men for quite some time. A lot of new faces in the side in terms of not haven't played regular so we knew that they would be fatigued but we were stuck they had to stay out there and at one point we were down to nine men so if we're going to laugh about it we say well, at least a Premier League side couldn't beat nine men from Darlow on the night except for penalties but it was the penalties that were the killer because uh, Stocky David Stockdale made the first save and it had to be retaken which is rather bizarre for that to happen in a cup game as, as such and then of course we missed two I think we put one in row Z and I think Wayne's hit somebody's windscreen in the car park and we got a bill afterwards for it so uh, it showed it had enough power in it but uh, by that time losing the penalties wasn't really uh, a major major concern for me I wanted to win the game I wanted the money for the next round but when the players have give everything they've got and it just isn't enough on the day you just accept it and that's just the way it was